Don Williams and David Sue again for the Institute of Sports and Spines. Today we're doing a demonstration of a squat technique. We're going to call this a McGill squat in respect of Professor Stuart McGill from the US who does some interesting research in squats and low back stability and control. So the idea of doing this squat is to get better activation of the lateral glute, so glute medius and glute minimus particularly. So we start in a normal squat position, feet about comfortable shoulder width apart. When we squat down, we normally want to see the knees tracking in the same plane or line as the feet. So the thigh and the foot should be in the same plane. When we do a McGill squat, what we want to do is pretend that we have a piece of newspaper on the ground and we're trying to tear it apart with the feet. So as you can see with my feet, as I push apart, you can see the feet look like they're partly rolling. They're not actually rolling, they're just pulling straight apart. As I do that and squat down with the feet in the same plane, we should feel more pressure on the lateral glutes. Now to increase this further, we use a little bit of TheraBand or resistance tubing, put it over the feet and bring it up to knee height. We repeat the same mechanism. So feet pulling apart, keeping the knees apart with resistance to the tubing and squat down. When we see this from the side, we stand with the feet touching the box Knees and feet in the same line, reaching out in front, pulling it apart. We only go to the depth we can maintain control of the low back. We don't want to see rounding, we don't want to see the knees coming apart, or particularly coming together. So an effective squat should look like that. We should be feeling the pressure That here. completes our demonstration of the McGill squat.